First at 6 o'clock, a recent Broken Arrow High School graduate is suing the school district after she says she was forced to take off an eagle plume from her cap at graduation. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. Lena Black is a member of the Oto, Missouri tribe and graduated last year. News on 6's Ryan Gillen joins us with what more with more on what happened next. Ryan. Craig, Lene Black received the eagle plume in a ceremony that holds a lot of meaning to her and her tribe, and it was damaged when two school employees tried to take it from her. This photo was taken of Lene Black before her high school graduation from Broken Arrow High School last May, showing the eagle plume attached to her graduation cap. Black says she got permission from one of her teachers to wear it because of its cultural significance. For Lene's community, the plume carries the prayers and intentions of her community for her. Morgan Saunders uh, so works for the Native American Rights Fund and is representing Black. The lawsuit says two school employees wanted to take away the eagle plume from Black's cap because they thought it was a decoration. And decorations are not allowed because of the district's dress code policy. The lawsuit says Black tried to explain the feather was not a decoration, but the employees still tried to remove it. Black says she was upset and held the feather in her hand to receive her diploma. BAPS says the district has not been served with the lawsuit yet, so they can't comment on it. They say all graduating students can represent their heritage by adding items to their cap and gown if it is approved, but they must go through an approval process first. Black says she didn't know about that process. Governor Kevin Stitt recently vetoed a bill that would have allowed Native American students to wear tribal regalia at graduation. He says those decisions should be up to individual districts and a law would open it up to all kinds of groups to do the same. The Tome, Missouri tribe sent a statement saying they stand with Black as she fights for her rights and tries to make change. Ryan Gillen, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.